Near Impingement Test. Biomechanical Explanation. This test assesses how both bony and soft tissues such as the greater tubercle, supraspinatus tendon, biceps tendon, and subacromial bursa pass under the acromion and coracoacromial ligament. Pain and or apprehension produced with this test are positive findings and are thought to be indicative of subacromial impingement syndrome. Indications. Pain with overhead reaching. Painful catching towards upper limits of elevation. Muscle atrophy, weakness, and pain. Decreased range of motion in suspected involved shoulder. Tenderness around the supraspinatus tendon insertion and anterior chromion. Protective compensations. History of injury, trauma, or repetitive shoulder use. Contraindications and precautions. Contraindications may include suspected or known humeral fracture, extreme pain with shoulder movement, and possible systemic involvement. Precautions may include osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Psychometrics, 0 to 93% sensitivity, 31 to 100% specificity, 0.4 interrelator reliability. Good afternoon, Ms. Jarmy. My name is Justin Moore, and I'm going to be your physical therapist. It's nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what brings you in? Um, yeah, sure. So my shoulder. found anything to kind of relieve that pain? Um, kind of, it just, it hurts when I move it. I, okay. Um, this, I hold it like this, but I think I can it. Okay, that's fine. Well, I have a general idea of what's going on, but I'd like to do a special test that we call Nears Impingement Test. So, a little bit about what I think's going on. You have um, this hard bone here. Okay. Um, and yes. then, yep, and then you have your arm underneath, but there's a space here where a few muscles and there's a little uh, fluid filled sac called bursa in there, kind of defines cushion. And then of course, uh, some bony landmarks on your arm uh, that are right there. And when you move your arm uh, up in those planes, uh, those structures pass underneath it. And if for some reason there's an inflammation or um, you've bumped your arm at all or something, uh, those structures can sometimes rub against that bone here. And it can cause that pain. So, Yep, so this test I'm going to do is going to kind of help me determine if that might be what's going on. Yeah, um, so what I'd like to do is ask you to remove that jacket um, for me if you'd like. Sure. Yeah. And so I'll tell you step by step what I'm doing with this test. Um, so okay. what I'm going to have you do is just relax this arm, and I'm going to stabilize your scapula here. That way it doesn't move along with your arm, okay? Okay, that's the bone back there. Yep, it's your shoulder blade back here. Ooh. Yep, so I'm just going to keep it still so you'll feel a little pressure on this side. And if you could, just relax this arm all the way down. So first we'll just have it in this neutral position. Um, and if at any time it hurts or reproduces your symptoms, just let me know, okay? Okay. okay so I'll just move it up. Just relax for me. So I'm going to move it up in the plane of your scapula. So that's that kind of angle in between. That hurts? All right. Okay, so that's nice. I'm going to turn it into internal rotation here. That kind of moves some structures around. Yep, is your arm going in like that? So we're going to do the same thing. How does that feel? That hurts. That hurts? Okay. And then one last time, I'm going to move it into outward like this, so external rotation. So we'll do it the same way. And that hurts as well? Okay. It all hurts. It all hurts. Okay. Thank you so much. So with it hurting like that, it kind of tells me that impingement is going on there. So we'll kind of shape our treatments to uh, go along with impingement and see if we can alleviate that thing, okay? Okay. All right. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. All right. Well, if at any time you do, just let me know.